and welcome to this short tutorial about a feasibility study. The feasibility study will take you a couple of hours and should take into consideration all the things that you've been told by your client. The point of a feasibility study is to establish whether or not having now learned everything that you need to learn, the user requirements, the success criteria, the budget, the time frame, whether or not this project is actually going to be feasible to complete. Feasibility studies are used in industry all the time and often they come back as not feasible. Some tweaks are made and then the project could become feasible. For your project, I can make you aware that this will be feasible. If it's not feasible, then obviously you can't do the coursework and then you won't get the grade. So it will have an outcome of being feasible. These are the, uh, the subheadings and the titles that you need to work through. You need to do your executive summary at the beginning, but you don't do that until the end. Essentially, you introduce the feasibility study stating that it is or is not feasible for the following reasons. So that should be a short paragraph. The next bit, you should be talking about the description of the product, what it is that you're having to create, the individual strands of the creation. So if there's any different pieces of creation, you need to talk about each one independently there and about what it is that you're going to have to do and on what software. The technological uh, considerations talk about your ability to complete what it is you've been asked to complete. It talks about the the ability for existing software to do what it is that it is required to do and whether or not it is technologically feasible for this project to be completed. Many times people have some grand ideas but it's not actually possible to do what they want. The next one is the legislative requirements. There are three strands that you need to think about for most projects. That's the Computer Misuse Act, GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation Act, and the Copyright Designs and Patents Act. Those are the three that you need to talk about, how you will overcome them, how you will adhere to them and make sure that they, uh, that the company you're working for doesn't break the law. The next one is the operational considerations. So this is how well the proposed solution that you're suggesting meets all of the needs of the client. So in, in reality, the, the, what you're suggesting, does it actually lead to the client's wishes and wants being met? The produce service marketplace, it looks at similar products. So this is a comparison here. So you need to do a comparison of similar solutions and why they wouldn't be feasible. For instance, Google Sheets is Google's version of Microsoft Excel. It's a spreadsheet software, but it doesn't have as much functionality in it. And therefore, it wouldn't be suitable for certain projects. And this is where you would compare that. Scheduling, this is your Gantt chart. This is talking about how you're going to complete this project on time, following a schedule, following... Uh, the guidance that you've been given and then recommendations here talk about why this project should or should not go ahead so it's your opportunity to say the following points mean that we can go ahead but these points are concerning because I'll need to do this or these points will not be able to be done this is an honest paragraph so if there is an element of the, the project that you feel that you don't have the skills to do and you need to brush up on them or you need to learn them that's where you will talk about them